Hey folks, I've just released a big new open source project and I'm really excited to share it with you now. It's called Inferno and it's a huge collection of metal shaders built for use with SwiftUI to add incredible special effects to your applications really easily. The whole thing is open source on GitHub right now at this repository, github.com slash two straws slash Inferno. And this thing is big because yes, you can just grab all the shaders and start using them straight away, that's fine. But it's also documented extensively. So you understand exactly how shaders work, how they're built and how to write your own in the future. Here is the README, for example, you can just scroll through and see, it explains how to use it in your project, what are shaders, how they're written, how do you send values to them, how do you read the code for these things, and then walks you through all the shaders and all the transition shaders included in Inferno with example code for everyone also explaining what every parameter does. It also comes with a large built-in uh, sample project, a sandbox thing here. I've got it running down here, in fact. We can go through all the shaders interactively and see exactly what they do. For example, a simple one up here is the checkerboard shader. It asks you to choose a replacement color. For example, I might say I use black for the checks, and then I'll make the value small to get a sort of finer grain checkerboard or bigger to get a really core checkerboard or I could try, show me an embossed shader. Again, you can interactively see exactly what it does across various different things. I could say, uh, show me a, a circle wave effect with an emoji cutout or a symbol cutout and see again exactly how that shader looks in practice. And there are stacks of these. Here's water, for example, blending images in interesting sort of water effect kind of ways. Um, or there's a, a color plane. So it's a, it's a touch effect where you've got to touch the image to interact with the effect somehow. So here, it basically pulls apart the red, green, and blue uh, different components for a color. And it's nice sort of like a old school 3D glitch effect going on here. We have a simple loop, which lets you zoom in uh, iOS style one particular part of the image. Here, my lovely dog face, uh, and then change the size of the thing. Or you can get a warping loop where it creates sort of a bulging glass ball effect like that. Again, customizable on the size, you can choose how big the effect should be. Uh, there's a bunch of transitions, and again, fully previewable. Uh, for here, for example, a circle wave transition. And you can see exactly what it's doing from A to B or back from B to A again. Uh, there's a cross warp here, uh, like this. Again, see exactly what it's doing. There's diamond wave, there's uh, pixelate here. There's radial, there's swirl, there's wind. There are just so many of these things to work through and try out, again, all interactively plus a couple of generation ones too. For example, uh, here is light grid, uh, which creates a series of moving lights across your shape like this. Uh, again, with paint what you want to choose. Or there's sign bow, which creates a sort of spinning, undulating Mario Kart rainbow road style effect. Uh, again, generating dynamically with your uh, cutout right there. Anyway, that's the sandbox app there. And you'll also see here, it links to a video I've made about using SwiftUI and Metal to build your own shaders. This is an hour and, quarter, hour and a quarter long video where I walk you through simplified versions of the Inferno shaders, some of them, um, so you can see exactly how they work and what they're doing. Uh, so again, I can you watch that, it's over here on YouTube. I'll put a link uh, again in the links below, I'll try and put it on screen perhaps. Look in the links below in the description to find out more information. That video is very much worth watching. It's, it's long, but good. It walks you through, I think, 10 different shaders um, bit by bit by bit, building my knowledge slowly. But then the rest of the readme explains how shaders are actually written. So here it walks the various types and the various functions that are used in the shaders of Inferno, how to send values from 50 y to uh, Metal here. And then all the shaders included in the project are here with sample code every single time to see exactly what it's doing. It's so much sample code here to work with. Uh, and I hope you walk through and try these things out because it's so easy to use. Uh, and better better of all, I think, best of all, is that once you've read all that, if you really want to know what's going on, the metal shaders themselves over an Xcode are comprehensively documented. So everyone has a one-line description of what it actually does. This is the signbow sort of Mario Kart Rainbow Road thing. Then a longer thing explaining what the actual algorithm being used is then a breakdown of all parameters being used, and then a line-by-line -line breakdown of what every part of the shader does, like a transliteration into English of what this line of code is trying to do 
so you understand really clearly how the shader works piece by piece by piece. And here's like the simple loop effect, the non-warping one. Again, it's all explained thoroughly, line by line breakdown. Or here's the, uh, let's do circle wave transition. Uh, again, line by line breakdown, so you can see exactly what the thing does. So, it's called Inferno. Tons of metal shaders to use in your projects to add special effects, a bit of surprise, a bit of delight uh, using metal. It's blazingly fast, extraordinarily fast, which is great, great. Open source, use it today. All you gotta do is take these metal shaders, copy into your project, and if you wanna use a transition, you wanna copy the transitions uh, file as well. This thing here adds a bunch of SwiftUI code to make the metal shaders easy to use for transitions. Go and use them today. They're great fun to work with, and I'd love to hear your feedback. Have you uh, walked through the code? Can I make it better? Can I make it clearer? Do you have your own metal shaders you want to add? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. The only request is uh, please document them to the very best you can like I've done here so other folks can learn from them very well and of course release them under the open source license. I'm using MIT here, which means commercial, non-commercial, da, da, da. it's all good. Please use these things to make some great, great apps. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you think folks. Take care.